located in Grand County, Utah, is the living ghost town of Thompson Springs. Named for E.W. Thompson, who operated a sawmill and lived by the springs, the town sprung to life in the 1800s. A simple community for farmers, ranchers, and sheep herders living in the barren region. A railroad station stop on the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad was added in 1883. In 1890, a post office was established under the name of Thompson's. One of the town founders, Harry Ballard, an ambitious man and successful sheep and cattlemen, began to buy up most of the property that surrounded Thompson Springs. Before long, he owned a hotel, store, saloon, and several homes. Sometime later, Harry discovered a large vein of coal on land adjacent to his ranch outside of town. Rather than spread the word, Ballard kept the coal a secret and began buying the surrounding property. He then started a coal operation on a small scale. In 1911, Ballard sold the coal mine to Salt Lake City investor B.F. Bayer, which marked the start of commercial mining in the area. In 1914, the Ballard and Thompson Railroad was constructed from the mines in Sago Canyon to connect at the Thompson Railhead, giving the town more importance. The mines in Sago Canyon produced high-grade coal, but water and decent management were in short supply. By 1947, costs exceeded income, and the company closed. This would be the first blow to the town of Thompson. In the 1970s, another blow was dealt to Thompson when I-70 was built through the area. Thompson had survived the mining decline as it was situated on a main highway through the area and provided services to travelers passing through the region. However, when the new interstate was developed, the town found itself just a few miles north of the new highway and traffic through the small community dramatically decreased and businesses began to close. The final straw broke in 1994 when the Amtrak passenger train stop was moved from Thompson to Green River, 25 miles west. This drew traffic away from town and the lack of travelers meant an unbeatable economic decline. Though the town never grew too large, it contained two motels, a saloon, the railroad station, a couple of stores, a school, a restaurant, and a number of homes.
Today, Thompson Springs is considered a living ghost town with a population of 99. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, please hit the like button, leave us a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.